Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. I have something a little bit different for you today. This is the Ocatel 2000 watt power station. I want to see how long this thing will run my refrigerator freezer. So to do that, I need to pull the power cord out from the wall. And uh, what I'm gonna do is replace the wall plug with this extension cord. And I'm gonna tape both of these to the top of the fridge. And that way, if the power goes out, I have the cord already up here and I can pull an extension cord from this power station and plug together. So that's what I'm gonna do here in this video, just to see how long this 2000 watt hour will run my fridge. Now, of course, these things alternate back and forth. Um, so there should be able to run it for quite some time. And uh, this thing has a 4,000 watt surge. So I think it will handle my fridge, no problem. Let's take a closer look at this real quick before we jump into this test. If you wanna see the full review, it's about 25 minutes long. I have a link to my Land House YouTube channel in the description down below. Quick rundown of this unit. This is the power button. Hold that down for about three seconds to turn the unit on. It'll beep and bring up the display. So right here, it's got an hours for uh, discharge remaining. It's got the percent, it has both the circular here and the uh, percentage in the middle. Over here, it's got input watts, output watts. And then right here, it's hard to see is 60 Hertz. You can change that to 50 Hertz if you need to. For the outputs, this is a DC. You've got a cigarette lighter right there. Right here, it's the XC something, I forget. It's 12 volt, 10 amp. And here you've got two 12 volt barrel plugs. And this is the power button right here for that unit. Over here, you've got more DC out. This is a five volt, 2.4 amp for these two. This is the uh, USB three, 18 watts out. And then over here, you've got 100 watts out, and that's your USB-C. And here you've got the uh, power button to turn those on. Over here is the light. You hold that down for three seconds, turns on. It's got SOS mode and strobe, and then off. So that's all of the functions here on the front. Let me turn it over real quick. If I lift up this little flap, it will stay up there. I've got six AC outlets that have a max of 2000 watts. And to turn that on, you push this power button right here. Uh, that's also, if you hold that down, it'll change from 60 Hertz to 50 Hertz. One really cool thing about this unit here on the charging side, it's got a 1100 watt supercharge, takes 100 to 120 volts AC, 50 or 60 Hertz input, and it will charge this thing in two hours. Very impressive. The another cool thing about this is that the um, AC to DC converter is already built into the unit. So instead of having one of those big power blocks, all you have to have, there's a compartment on the top here that you can open up. And all you have to have is a regular cable to charge that. And then you can also plug uh, something into this Anderson, whether it's solar panels or a car charger. And then it's got overcharge protection up here on the top. So if lightning hits it, it'll pop that out and hopefully not damage the unit. The top has some really nice carrying handles and then that storage box. And in there, I've just got the power cord I showed you and then the uh, MC4 connectors to go to the solar. But uh, anyway, all right, that's pretty much all the features we need to know for this video. Let's get into the test where we uh, move the fridge and see how long it'll last on this battery. To get this refrigerator into place, the movers had to uh, take the doors off because the island is so close. So I may just scoot it back if I can far enough to use a stool to get back there and uh, ugh, get that plug. Yeah, luckily it's on wheels. The stuff people do to make a YouTube video. Uh, see if I can reach back there and pull that power plug out. And hopefully there's enough cord there that it'll reach to the top up here so I can tape it down. If not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. All right, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully this thing is strong enough to support 210 pounds. Uh, if I drop this, it's bad news. It reaches the top, but barely, not like I was expecting. So I may tape this to the side, just up here 
like this so I can still reach it, just be a little bit awkward. Yeah, so anywhere along here, as long as it sticks up enough, we'll be good. I was hoping the cord was from about midway up the, um, the fridge, but it's not, so. But this should be fine. I don't think refrigerators were meant to be climbed on like this. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on here as well, on the top, just so it stays in place. I think the average person won't be noticing that power cord up there because of the height. Uh, so I've got a regular extension cord right here that I'm going to plug the fridge up to, and then we'll bring this down to the island where the power station is and see how long it'll run this fridge. That open, I'm gonna plug this up and then turn the power on. All right, it's all good. Now, let's go ahead and push this right here. See what happens. All right, I just heard the uh, fridge kick on and it has uh, 487 watts. Let me uh, zoom in on that real quick. Yep, 486 is what it's running at. It says it'll run that for three hours. So let's just see how well this thing goes. About 15 minutes after I plugged the fridge up, uh, it's kind of hard for you to see with the low light, but 132 watts, and it's gonna run that for 10 hours and it's dropped from 100% to 91%. So uh, this thing will cycle. So hopefully we'll get more than the three hours that it had earlier. And at some point that 131 watts will drop down to zero for a little while and then it'll kick back on again. So hopefully we'll be able to run this thing for most of the day on this power station, but I'll keep you updated throughout the day. We're sitting at three and a half hours right now. I noticed that the uh, fridge and freezer are off, so it's pulling one to two watts, and uh, we're down to 75%. At this rate, it'll uh, run it for 59 hours. But uh, it's doing really well. So I think from the uh, current state, this uh, little power box will run this fridge and freezer for a full day easily. Now, I've not been here to open it, so that's also a factor, but, uh, I'm going to give it till, uh, I guess, four hours, and then we'll see how it looks. But, uh, yeah, I like it. Definitely will run this and keep your, uh, your cold stuff cold all day long during a power outage. Just hit four and a half hours. We're at 69% here on the battery. Said it'll still run this for 10 more hours at uh, 97 watts. So, yes, I think this will pretty much run the fridge and freezer for one full day as long as you're not opening and closing this thing a lot so good to know all right and also if you have some solar panels such as uh, the ones i've got outside there you can bring power to this and it will pass through so as long as you get uh, at least 1100 watts coming to this thing it will charge pass through to the freezer at the same time you know what let's just uh, demonstrate that so Let's go ahead and plug this up. Interesting. A bit of heat in here. Not terrible, just warm. All right, let's open that up. Plug this in. And then move this around here. So pretty quick, it's going to jump this up with the supercharge to uh, 1100 watts. Let's see how long it takes for it to reach that. So there's 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Ah, it's passing through both. Interesting. There we go, 1,100. That's what I was expecting to see. So because this thing is only running a certain amount, it is... Uh, charging at 1100 and then it's going to uh, 
send things off to the fridge to keep it going as well. Uh, so you can see the fridge is still on doing its thing. It says 36 minutes till it's full. This power station is a 2000 watt. So the 470 that we saw on the initial startup was nothing for this. And then to run at 115 to 130 watts to keep this going all day, no big deal at all. So definitely has a lot more potential than what this fridge and freezer is consuming. If you want to check out this Ocatel 2000 watt power station, then I have links in the description down below with the discount code as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Seth with Tools, Tech, and Gear, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.